What is up, everybody? Escape 211 here. I'm ready. I'm ready tonight. I got my cough drops. I got them. So hopefully I'm not going to cough too much in your face while we're doing this. But how y'all doing? Hope you're doing good. Good to see you all. Um, I, uh, I got Miss Trouble with me as usually. Hello. Hey. Hey, guys. How are you? And we may have somebody well. else join us, too. I don't know. We'll see. I think they're having some technical things they're trying to work out, but it would be great if they could. If not, hey, that's all right. Maybe we'll get somebody else in the next time. But uh, it'd be great to have some peeps with us. Um, always good to add some. But, um, yeah, just seeing a lot of people saying hello. Uh, man, I'm, I'm going to be terrible at names, but I'm seeing, like, FC Quang, Nigen Van, Carmelo, Indian Gaming, Pyro Robo. That one's easier for me to say. Super dumb. I could say that because I'm super dumb. Uh, space text, like everybody's just saying what's up. Hey, everybody. Man, now there's so many, I can't even tell. Oh, Killer Boy is saying quality is bad. Um, is that everybody? Hope it's not everybody. Looks good to me. Okay, good. All right, maybe maybe you just had a bad hiccup or it was just one spot that was a hiccup right. for everybody. Your connection needs to buffer for a minute. Maybe. That happens to me sometimes when I watch streams too. It'll get bad and then it'll slowly catch up, so... Hopefully it doesn't mess it up for you guys, though. Hey, Leroy Jenkins. Man, that's kind of old school, but I love that. I don't know how many people actually know the Leroy Jenkins reference, but uh, I remember that. I used to play World of Warcraft because I'm a big nerd. Um, <laughs> hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, yeah, so tonight I don't have a giveaway, so it's just going to be customs. I'll be doing my giveaway next week. So this is just going to be fun matches. We're just going to have some fun. Um and I'll be doing my usual invites. So uh, the usual stuff applies. So Miss Trouble is here with us. So she will be watching chat. She'll be helping you communicate um, in terms of like, you know, giving us um, some help in, in terms of asking or answering questions and um, communicating with you guys if she can through text chat. But she'll also be keeping an eye on spamming and language. So please none of that, or we may have to put you in a timeout. Um, but we'll, like I said, we'll be doing customs. So if you haven't done it or you don't know how that goes, uh, I will be um, setting up a custom match and then giving you guys the room code and I'll put it in the chat as well when I'm doing it. So if you want to join, all you have to do is hit battle, then hit the custom match button down here and then enter the match ID code that I give you right where it says that enter match ID. All right. So hopefully that covers the basics. We'll do some full hanger stuff. I, I feel like doing like some, uh, you know, fun stuff tonight or challenge type stuff. Uh, but we'll do some full hangers first because some people like to do that. So, um, yeah. All right. Uh, sorry, I was just checking to see. Like I said, we might have somebody with us if they can, uh, if they can get stuff figured out. I think I or, or it could be me. I don't know. I, I don't know what the technical issue is right now. <laughs> I haven't tried having anybody else on but Miss Treble, so uh, it could be my own system that I have. I tried something new this week to see if we can get some people to join us, so I don't know if I'm the cause of it. But uh, we're going to soldier on, do the usual gaming type stuff, and if we can get somebody else in here with us to talk, that'll be cool. All right. So we'll start, though, just doing... Oh, actually, I should probably change this out. I've been doing my Missile Rack event stuff, but he's probably not going to cut it. If I do a, if I do some matches, so I'm gonna have to switch it out. Uh, what do I have already set up here. We can do this maybe with a different ten weapon. Maybe that I guess. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. All right. So let's set up our first custom match here. Um, this one will be full hanger. Everyone is able to join in on this one. All right, so here's going to be our first room code. Here we go. And it is A N L V N. Whoops, V N H. A N L V N H. Okay, I typed in right. <laughs> Yuri saying escape flex. Well, how did I flex? What was my flex? I didn't see I didn't see what my flex was. Did I just flex? I don't know how I flexed. <laughs> I don't know. 
All right. Have some new people to the stream. Awesome. That's cool. All right. Um, and, oh, I did not say this before, but uh, as usual, we want to try to have everybody play. So once you're able to get in a match, please uh, be courteous and step out to give other people a shot. I will try to keep a mental list of those who have played so that uh, we have an idea of that as well. Um, so, you know, I may have to boot you if you played already. But we are going to... Oh, excuse me. We are going to... Um, we're going to switch up the teams here a little bit. I was trying to get Pro Spider and maybe a couple other people on the other team because I think my power is too high. Uh-oh. We lost somebody? Oh, we got somebody else. Okay. Um... Do one more shuffle here. Seems like the higher... Yeah, okay. Maybe that'll make it a little more fair. This one will just be a CPC, but here we go. Uh, I saw the disc launcher ate and I want them so bad. Oh, that was Yuri who was saying I flexed because he wants the disc launcher. I understand, man. It depends on where you are in the game, though. But for me, I don't use a ton of the disc launcher 8. This is the 12 that I have on my, uh, my kill shot right now. And I've been enjoying this quite a bit. Um, so... This one's a good one, for sure. Yep, yep. Thumbs up, everybody's. Oh, Honor Gaming's here. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, buddy? He's in the chat. Does, does he just woke up? We'll be joining you guys soon. Awesome. Yes. Glad to have you here. Looks like everybody's over there. I'm gonna sneak up this way. So, I think I might actually go into the waiting room if you don't mind pulling me back in in a minute oh sure ah i had to i had to make them pull back <laughs> oh naria thank you uh yeah i i think miss trouble is actually fine for me i've been sick um and uh i truth be told uh i just found out Actually, because I just got my test back that I, I have COVID, <laughs> which just sounds awful, right? Uh, but I'm vaccinated and I'm actually already feeling better. So I, I don't think for me it's really going to be a much of a concern. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, other people in my family don't really get it and that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, we've all been in the same house. So I don't know how they wouldn't be positive. So we're just going to have to isolate, quarantine, do that kind of stuff. I'm going to be working remotely for a little bit from work. Um, you know, there's just no way around that kind of stuff that just happens. So, yeah. But yeah, I happened to find out that somebody at our church, uh, didn't know they had it and had it. And, you know, that's how I ended up getting it. These things happen, I guess, huh? Oh, I'm sorry, potato. Oh my gosh. Lots of jabs. Holy cow. That was a flurry of jabs from everybody. Okay. It's all right, though. We're still holding the three. That's all we need to worry about. Oh, we got this guy. Oh, that didn't actually use the... Or hit him with the ability. Whoa. You see that? He was standing on top of me. That was crazy. Oh. Man, that was a valiant effort. You guys would have had me if I didn't have... Oh, my gosh. So much power. Everybody's, like, jumping on top of each other. This is crazy. Poor potato. He's trying to come around, but we can all see him. <laughs> He's trying. It's hard, man. It's hard to flank. I know how that goes. I was able to get it quickly uh, early on with my uh, kill shot, but... All right, I'm going to have to play a little uh, uh, a little more cautious now. That's not cautious. Getting in the way of disc launcher shots. This is my last spot, so I'm just trying to play defensively here. I'll let you guys push. Okay, they're, they're moving that way, so I'm going to push this way just to force them into a situation where they have to do something. Okay, good, 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 good. And we got it. Nice. Good job, guys. <laughs> Honor Gaming, I that's fun thinking. He said, uh, quarantine means more creator escape to 11 live streams. Yay. But on a serious note, I hope you recover quick. Hey, thanks, man. I totally feel, like I said, I mean, I've been feeling bad in the sense of you can tell I've been sick. But, and honestly, because I'm vaccinated, which, you know, I yeah, I 
support vaccinating. Um, uh, it's, whoops, hasn't been that bad. Whoops. Yes, I do wish to leave the team. Uh, so I, I've been okay um, in the sense of just being sick, but not really that bad. And it's already getting better. I mean, most of the worst stuff is behind me. Now it's just in the nose. Yeah. All right. That said, let's uh, let's move over. Miss Treble, I think, is trying to work with our uh, with our friend who's joining us there. Um, so I'm just gonna get into another one. We'll just do another custom match. Why don't we just get another set of full team? I'll switch it over to TDM this time or five v five. You know, same kind of idea. All right. So let's try this. Here we go. This is gonna be a room code. Ah, come on, say it for me. Uh, A G S I D E. A G S O I D E. All right. Um, yeah, I think we got a whole new group, which is awesome. Good, good. Yeah, I appreciate the well wishes. People saying, like, hope you and Miss Trouble and everybody are doing good. We're doing good. Yeah. The kids haven't really seemed sick at all. Miss Trouble has been fine. I'm the only one who's had some kind of symptoms, and they really haven't been that bad. Miss Trouble and I are both vaccinated. So, um, yeah. All right. Sorry. Now that I've been talking. Um, I'm going to see if I can maybe get a slasher on the other side. So if I can get a slasher and maybe Joshi on the other side might even it out a little more that's my goal okay maybe that's good all right we'll, we'll give that a shot no repeats oh do we have a re oh he's saying good to go no repeats thanks there John I, I didn't know what you were gonna say there for that but oh no I didn't bring my mortars uh, this is a mortar map I am, I am not really prepared for this one. <laughs> or not prepared well, I should say, for this one. Yeah, yeah, see right away. All of the mortars. All of the mortars. Ugh. I saw that. And all of the jabs. Uh-huh. Sure. I'm gonna have to pick times when I can peek out, which is not gonna be a ton. Those guys all got their jabs, so they're not really paying attention to me. Or they were before, but now they're not. Oh gosh. That was terrible by me. Bad shot, bad shot. Oh my goodness. I thought that was going to hit you. you tell how good I am, right? Oh, nice. I'll take the heals. Thank you. Thank you. I'm afraid there's just going to be too many mortars and I got to move in. So that's what I'm trying to do here. But maybe there's not. And I don't have to worry that badly about it. Oh, I thought that would have hit him. That one did. Oh, okay. Push me back. That's all right, though. Hey, it worked. I feel like I'm getting a lot of mortar fire on me, but that's all right. You got it. All right. Good dealio. All right. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'll, I'll uh, Miss Treble, I saw what you said there. I'll have you pop back over after this match. Sorry. Oh, I thought I would get that shot in. I did not. Not fast enough. Good shot there. I mean, good, uh, good fence. Stop me from getting that shot. I thought I got him. I did not. Oh, 
Okay, all right, dude. Okay, I can't move either. You're both there. <laughs> We're all in a bad spot here. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of mortar fire on me. How is it not hitting the guy? Oh, he's, man, he's moving all over the place. What the heck? That's, uh... That's either a glitchy on my end, or that's, uh... Cheating? I don't know. He was doing a lot of jerky movements. I couldn't really tell, though. It could just be, like, my my connection, or the connection in general, that's causing that to happen. I don't know. That looked pretty dicey, though. At least for me. Yeah, I had to come back here. You're all shooting mortars at me. I had no choice. Can't move. Yeah. It's alright though. It was worth it. Hit a few of you. Took out a couple mortar ones. Uh, this is probably my best one. I have a terrible hanger for this map. Uh, let's just hold the lead, guys. If you can just hold it for me, that'd be great. Oh, we did! Alright, that was close though. Man. I did not do too well in that second round. All right. Oh, good job, guys. That was a fun one. All right, so I got to pull Miss Trouble back in here. Oh, my goodness. We might have a full party tonight. Miss Trouble. So, hey! Hey, I got you back. <laughs> So, oh, sorry. Were you okay. saying something to them? <laughs> well, I said we're in the middle of the conversation. But that's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. So, are, are do we have a couple people that are going to join us? We do. We do. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. And they're ready to go. All right. So, I'm going to bring a couple people over, uh, and I'll introduce each that we got here. So, let me let me bring them on in, uh, and hopefully they can hear me for for saying this. But um, we got a couple of the other content partners with us tonight. We have Mixfed Gaming and Honor Gaming. Dudes, what is up? Thanks for joining us. Hope you can hear me. Oh, hello. Thank you. Thank you for uh, uh, letting us into your awesome live stream, Skate. Hey, awesome. That's Honor. What's up? Hey, Mixfan, are you yeah. there, bud? Oh, I'm not hearing you. Uh oh. All right, hopefully we'll hear you in a minute. But Mixfan Gaming is with us too. Uh, honor, dude. Thanks for popping in. Uh, what's been going on? How Absolutely. you doing? Um, fighting bots. Fighting bots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard, man. I heard. This has yeah. been uh, crazy for you, right? This. I. I don't know yeah, if it's yeah. like. That's the hard thing for me because they said this is a test, right? I don't know if what you're facing is the test or just like how the game changes when they get to a certain point. Because when I saw some of your footage, it was hard for me to tell. Um, so I, I don't know, man. What do you think? Well, you know, I, I, I would need to ask you and probably the other uh, viewers here. But, uh, you know, personally, I, I just see like a quantum leap of intelligence from the bots. Mm. So it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to say uh, it's probably uh, just purely on the uh, new uh, AI, right? Or the new matchmaking. But I can tell you right now, I meet zero players is the, you know, the sad part. I feel I'm encaged with these, uh, like Skynet, Terminator level bots. So oh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying yeah. to, trying to get used to this. Yeah, it's a new world for me. Yeah, I have. But, a, uh, um... I, I was, I was actually curious because uh, a lot of our, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, comments from my channel over on my side. A lot of uh, players were telling me that they are also experiencing a quantum leap. So. Uh, you know, maybe uh, you know, skate. You could you could have a better uh, explanation. You know, it, have you have you had this quantum leap before this uh, test period? Uh, I will say that there has been an issue when I had a massive difference in how the AI works. So uh, I do have mm -hmm. an older video, which I actually did a post on recently, where I talk about fighting the AI when they're in that like Terminator mode that you were talking about. It's funny you say Skynet because yep. that's exactly what I call it. Skynet. Where yeah, they just yep. are are after you as a player. It feels like everyone is gunning for you, and they're all crazy good at shooting at you now. It's just insane. It feels vastly different. Um, it I don't know when it was uh, officially happened, like when it what if it was like a general change to the game, 
or if it was I got to a certain like division or XP level or what it was. But yeah, there was a definite tonal shift in like how AI played periodly, you know? So it was just, it was so crazy. Um, I will say I've gotten weirdly used to it now, which isn't great because it's, it's a vastly different like playing feeling and method. So I don't really know, you know, what's the best way to, to say for you to just be like, hey, just figure it out. Like that doesn't sound like a good answer um, because there's a lot of people like you're saying who are experiencing this and probably very new to them. If they change this and it was like maybe a global change uh, and lots of people are experiencing it, that's gonna be very frustrating for people to get over uh, if it's just like now global, like it's, it's happened to everybody. So right. I don't know. Um, Sucker Punch, hey man, it, hey man, he's in here, and he said it happened six months ago when everyone said the game was too easy, so they made the game harder and they made the AI <laughs> smarter. Uh, and he said, remember when they buffed them to six star? I do remember that. That was insane. There was a time when they uh, AI was everybody said the AI was too easy, so they buffed it. And when they did, yeah, it was like max. They went to six star, which is nuts. They don't even do that now. But now they made the AI yeah. play much smarter. They gave them some buffs, but they're technically all like five stars with their maxes um, for like the bots right. and stuff. So yeah, thanks Sucker Punch. I couldn't remember when it had changed, but that was like, that's the rough idea of when it happened. So that is crazy. Right, Big right. change. Yeah. Nick's fan yeah, is so back guess. in the waiting room. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, hopefully we can get him in here. I'd love to hear him talk about this kind of stuff because he has good thoughts too. Hey, Mix fans, you with us, bud? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What's happening with him in the waiting room? Oh, so okay. I'm not sure what the problem let me, is. Let me see. I don't have a mute or anything on him in this, so I don't know why. Ah, man, that's a real bummer. This might be something he, that if he can talk in the other he room. He said he had, he had gotten a Discord error last time. Oh, okay. That's really weird. I don't know why. Dang, this might be something that he and I have to figure out next time. Um, so I don't, I don't know. Oh, and he says um, he keeps getting disconnected. I'm sorry, man. This is probably on me though, because I, I haven't tested this server at all, and it seems like it could work for some, like it did for Honor, maybe not for you. Um, but we'll have to try and test it some other time, and, and can get you on. I feel bad though, so I wanted to have you give us some of your thoughts too. Yeah, he's showing me his disconnect issues that he's having. Dang it! All right. Well, I have a question for you, Honor. Yes, yes. Ms. Um, did, so you found this change ha like happened overnight? Yeah, yeah, and and, and it just happened. Prob uh, you know, coincidentally, it happened on the same time they released the uh, announcement with the test. So I'm okay. I'm I'm just purely blaming the <laughs> matchman. <laughs> right, and you no. it truly could just be the test, right? It could be. It sounds like it's happened. I mean, uh, like the two coincide together. Like I'm saying it could be coincidental based on your XP, yeah. but it doesn't yeah. necessarily sound like it. Like the timing sounds well, weird. Did you also maybe just recently like do a big upgrade and like, you know, um, buy something or add something or upgrade, you know, or or hit a, a new like XP level? Well, well, you know, like using the term, you know, that uh, creator escape uses, but uh, I, I don't like to flex, but I, I'm always buying something, right? You know, uh -huh. <laughs> you do, yeah. Just, just to, just to make some content. So, but uh, you know, I, I don't think like it's something, uh, you know, that I recently, uh, you know, upgraded. I, I just really feel honestly, I cannot, uh, ex you know, it's kind of hard for me to. Uh, just, just purely uh, base it on the fact that there was a a change in the in my personal you know account where like uh, mm -hmm. the bots just yeah yeah get upgraded. Uh, I I think there is some some relevance because I, it's just not me. I think a lot of players uh, suddenly saw that change, and and I I'm pretty sure that not everyone was probably at the same squad power with me. I'm talking about like 50 or plus uh, people having yeah. experience. Yeah. Oh, okay. Change. Yeah. Yeah. Like all across the board. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So maybe they created the same like level playing field of AI bots, but that's still crazy to do to everybody at the same time. Right. Right. I mean, like if we talk like real serious here, like you know, I I really think that Plarium is trying to listen to the players, right? I, I think they're that's the great point about what they're trying to do. Yeah. Uh, but. 
uh, on a you know on a serious note, I think there's a couple things that they have to change. And you know, first of all, it's just the the overflux of uh, stun bots, <laughs> stun AIs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, you know yeah. if you see my previous content video, the the one I talk about the new matchmaking system, like uh, you know I, I went from fighting like Ares and Lancers and you know whole diversity, right? Once in a while I see a brick house and it surprises me. Now now I mean like brick house is like you know everyone's bot. <laughs> and yeah. And then there's like Redox, Surge, and then Zephyr. So the problem is that these AIs are so smart. You know we call it Skynet now, right? Yeah, so the yeah. Skynet AI has been so upgraded. Now they're, uh, you know, they're just stunning you once you reach the Zephyr, uh, you know, area of effect with the sun. The moment you walk into it, you know, even if they're facing the, you know, the other side, they will stun you. And then they will turn around immediately and then I get a heart attack. Because it <laughs> kind of freaks me out. You know? yeah. yeah. It really freaks me out when they do that. And, uh, you know, uh, when, when they know I'm on top of them, and then there, the redox spots on the bottom use caustic blast, you know, one at a time. That yep. also freaks me out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they definitely yeah, chain their abilities and play together. Uh, like once yeah. they hit a certain point. I mean, I've experienced this, but I could see where like people who are new to this. I will say I have heard other people and I also see Abu Tiyash in, um, in chat saying, hey, buddy. He's saying, uh, you know, one day he was playing against Guardian, Juggernaut, Killshot, and now he's facing yeah. Redox, Brickhouse, and Surge. I've heard the same kind of thing, more Redoxes from other people. So they definitely did change stuff. Um, Sucker Punch also said they did buff the AI four days ago, which is interesting. I didn't really notice a buff per se in them, but I mean, the fact that we're seeing more of these other mechs and then other people experiencing way harder mechs and stuff than they used to, uh, yeah, they're, they're definitely playing around with stuff. I don't know what they're trying to do, but um, I'm hoping it's something that, you know, is going to help the overall matchmaking system, but it, it does stink that uh, it's causing this kind of thing. And then in the meantime, right, we're hitting these really hard AI players. So, yeah, yeah I, I, I think it's good. Like, I think what Plurium is trying to do uh, is very good. Uh, and and I, I really would like to applaud their, their uh, attempt to do that. Uh, I just think that the problem is like, um, you know, to be honest, I think these things should have been tested on, on a uh, separate server because um, it, it, it's, it's uh, you know, uh, it's, so we know for a fact now that it's not just, just the, you know, squad power uh, because, you know, there's other uh, across the board, right? It happened across the board. So yeah. I think that's a small issue. But then the, the biggest problem, I think, is that just the fact that their aiming is just 100% accurate. So. <laughs> it's just you, you know, Scape. If you face the the, it's an infamous AI. It's oh, like yeah. the boss of all bosses. It's the Zephyr with long arm ten and eight. Oh my gosh! Yes, insane. <laughs> that, that, the is... Zephyr with long arm ten and eight yeah. is 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 the most deadly one. And you know they're they're taking over my MVP spot, so I'm a little you know sad about that. Yeah, they are <laughs> the uh, they are the worst AI enemy. And I actually feel yeah, like yeah. their long arms, even at close range, do more damage than ours do, which is also crazy. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and they have yeah. some weird HP too. Yeah. Like uh, sometimes I feel they have more HP than than a regular Zephyr with a uh, five star. And you probably have noticed. Yeah, it, I know I have. When you shoot them and their bar goes down, it sometimes goes back up a little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They heal up. So they they also have a you know a stim pack or something, right? They have a secret <laughs> right. uh, health. Yeah. Yeah, medical pack with them, which we don't. Maybe, maybe it's a, it, in the future, uh, it's a, it's a equipment that you can, uh, you know, put on. Or <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, yeah, they yeah. they get all these crazy. I mean, part of me thinks like, okay, it's AI, so they have limitations, so they should have a little bit of benefit. But when it's like they could, this happens to me, and I'm sure it's happened to others, um, where you could be on the opposite side of the map and see the enemy spawn point and a Zephyr with long arm spawns yeah. and instantly is already like taking down half or all of your life. And it's, or, or if you're right, like turned right. around and to the side, you're dead in one shot. There's, and it's just, there's no kind of recourse for that kind of thing. There's no way that you could do anything. It's so it's, right, it's crazy right. hard. Um, so yeah, I, I've, I've I was there. actually wanting to ask you, uh, Skate, it, have you had the Zephyr before like two days ago, for example, have you had this kind of Zephyr? Two days ago in your matchmaking uh the long arm zephyr yeah <laughs> the infamous oh, yeah. long arm zephyr i've had long arm zephyr for a long time actually <laughs> he's not new to Wait. me 
Yeah. Yeah. We went back and we were looking through videos and like I have in some of his videos where he's facing them like 11 months ago. Yeah. Yeah. They've, yeah. they've been oh around for a long time, but now I wonder mm -hmm. if they've changed where the threshold or how the threshold happens when they come into game for you. Um, which is bad because if it means they're coming in at lower XP or like when you've bought stuff and, and have a higher SP, if they're doing it based on that, then it almost discourages spending money and, you know, like hitting certain brackets of XP if they're going to make it that ridiculous for people um, to have that absolutely, kind of opposition. Absolutely. So I hope this is yeah. something, like we said, they're just playing with and it's not something that's going to be a long term thing because that's tough really tough for those who are newer players especially yeah yeah, yeah. Right. i just uh I, I think the equipments and everything the plarium's new matchmaking i think it's all great all great i yeah. think they just uh need to drop down the accuracy is my personal comment yeah, yeah. dropping down the accuracy. i would dude uh, man i would i would yeah. love if long arms zephyr was not in the game like if that was gone from the game like hallelujah i mean give the zephyr other weapons i don't care it's just those long arm zephyrs that like are insane like that's always been the worst ai for me to deal with no matter what so okay. i hate it that's good <laughs> good to know that that you're facing the same troubles as me along with many players yeah yeah all right um mix fan back in the waiting room all right i um Maybe try, try to add him one more time. I'm going to try and then we'll adding chat him while in you do a game. One more time. We'll see if we can hear him this time. That would be awesome. So I added him in. So if he's able to speak, he certainly can. I'll, I'll leave him there. So if he figures it out and he comes in, I hope he can. If not, we'll try it again some other time. Oh, I think it's. I think he tried it again and it didn't work. Dang it. All right. We'll have to, Mix Fan, we'll have to try this another time when you and I can figure it out and have you join another time because I really want to have you in on these streams too. But... Um, but I'm going to try doing matches honor. Um, I don't know if you want to join or if you'd rather just be like talking with us as I play. I have no problem with either way, but I just figured I'd, I'd my, you know. my uh, yeah, my, my AI up there is, is not uh, too great. So I can't focus on the gameplay and uh, <laughs> and, and talk at, at the, the same, same time. time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll yeah. just leave this as an open room code for not other people Skynet. Yeah. and we can, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll just watch. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, so you can you can watch and you can like talk to others in chat or you can ask me questions while we play. Totally fine with me. Yeah, but I'm gonna yeah. set up a I got a new room set up, guys, and here is gonna be the room code for this one. This will be full hangers again. All right, just so everybody knows. Here's gonna be our room code. This is A A V T Y R. A A A V T Y R. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Um I, uh, yeah, I feel bad for Scape because I'm always asking him these questions that make him think while he's trying to to play. Like, I don't care. He, what do you Does think matter? about this or that or whatever? Because <laughs> people are asking questions and he's like, uh, and he's trying to play. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter I, to me. I fully understand. Oh, yeah, you've been there, dude. Scape. You know how it goes. I, I think it was funny. I think yeah. one of the first streams that I saw you play, you... um you started doing uh, commentary because it was almost like, I can't talk and play at the same time. Or you just thought like it yeah. would be better for evening out the teams. I don't know. Either way, I just found it entertaining. I'm like, <laughs> maybe I should try that sometime because it is hard to talk and play for sure. <laughs> but 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 not not when you're uh, recovering from COVID. Oh. Maybe, maybe it'll, it'll, it'll tire you out too much because <laughs> that is the most tiring. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, have you had that experience yet? This is the first for me, of course. But. Well, 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 not yet. But uh, oh, okay. not, I'm also double vaccinated. But uh, I heard you can still get it, right? I mean, obviously you're the you're the living proof here. But yeah, uh, we're I, vaccinated. I, I, yeah, we're vaccinated. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not double vaccinated though. Just you know, the normal or the I guess you'd say the booster, or whatever you want to call it for that. So, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you know, you look fine, Escape. And, uh, <laughs> you you you, you, you have okay. no excuse not not to uh do any live streams you know we, yeah we'll now know, now i'm right? gonna be home right yeah. so i'm gonna have to do like a bunch more <laughs> absolutely yeah so if, if you don't do it you know we we know you're just you know i'm, just, I'm being uh, lazy being lazy yeah. yeah yeah that's what it is yeah i'll probably be lazy yeah. or maybe i want to spend time with my family no it's probably just being lazy that's really what it is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no i get it oh man, man. well if if you want to stream or something you'd have to go out to the car because <laughs> it's a crazy loud madhouse in here during oh, the day true. with our kids 
Well, well, same here, same here. So, so you know, I go to the car. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you stream in the car? <laughs> or do you? Oh, Not I was going to say, if you, I'm like, do you stream but, in the car? That'd be crazy. We actually my, uh, my wife's lost sitting power. right next to me. Oh, okay, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, she's just munching on some noodles or something. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You can tell her we say hi. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Scape says hello. Yeah. Oh wow! Somebody just came up right she's behind me. Smart the play. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we actually we lost power earlier today, and uh, I was thinking, oh no, if we don't get power back, I'm not going to be able to stream. And, and Miss Treble was like, no, just wait. We'll see. I mean, if we get it back. And thankfully, we got it back. But I was thinking, like, man, am I going to have to, like, stream from the car or do something, like, where I can actually plug into something, maybe? I've never done that. I don't even know if I could. But it's just crazy to think about. <laughs> <laughs> wait, let me let me tell my wife. Uh, Escape has COVID. Oh. <laughs> Fred, the news. Wait, yeah. she knows who I am? You talk about me? I hope you say good stuff. Sure, sure. I, I, yeah, yeah. Good, <laughs> good and bad. Good and oh, okay, bad. Okay, good. All yeah. right. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't be, everything can't be great, right? Yeah. I even talk about bad about me. Yeah. Oh, do I talk I bad talk about I talk bad you? about her. Oh, okay. You talk bad about her. We got to mix it up. We got to be fair, right? You know? yeah. yeah. I can't talk bad about Miss Treble. She puts up with me. Well, well like, does she hit you? Oh, uh, no, yeah. no, not yeah. well, not too much, not too much. But uh... well, you know, then, then you're 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 great, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these guys are doing well. They took down all my bots again. I think I'm playing too aggressively. Although I think we got this one. We're right at the end there. Nice. Good match, y'all. Um, so 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 also escape just a small note is uh you know my my previous bot friends uh are you know i got new bot friends so i have like mm -hmm. new names right oh you got different names too oh that's interesting yeah, yeah, i hadn't yeah, really I got... thought about that because yeah. people have yeah, told me yeah, they thought just... like the the names are different for like different bots for different people and i've actually i've talked to certain people and they'll say like they have an arch nemesis bot like one that is the worst for them for me i think it's oh, been oh. cat lady and that one has always been the most annoying to me. Uh, that's my the that's name, my nemesis bot. So, <laughs> yeah. Do you have a specific it's, it's one that you feel like is hunting you? Uh, the, yeah. I mean, I, I I know there's one. There's one that that really loves me. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but it's it's cat lady is always there. Oh yeah. yeah. Cat lady is always peeking peeking from the. Uh... Cat lady's uh, been wait, mine. Wait. Oh. You, you got you got a super fan over there. Oh, I got a yeah. super chat. Wow. Hey, um, yeah. uh, Saksham, if I could say that right. I'm sorry. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, they asked, which is better, Guardian with double railgun or Panther with double railgun? Ooh, uh, that is a great question. I see a lot of people use both. If you're someone who likes to do more of just a long range sniping, kind of like I do, I prefer the Panther, but the Guardian... Uh, has been super effective, especially in um, more PvP battles. I've seen a lot of high-level players use it really well. So I think both actually play really well. I think it's kind of a preference thing. But um, if you already do it on your Guardian, man, props to you. But thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Good question, too. A lot of people ask about that one uh, when they get to that point of which one they should do. I actually think um, I'm going to be maxing my Guardian anyway because when Disc Launcher 16 comes out, it's going to go on either him or Panther. And I'll probably compare the two myself, see which I like better, and it'll be between those two mechs. So, yeah. That's my plan. I, <laughs> I don't know, but I agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> both are great. Both are great. Well, you recently yeah, got I mean, your Panther both... Railgun, right? So, you've yeah, been liking yeah. that one. Do you have a Guardian that you could put it on too? Have you tried that yet or no? Well, if I put it on the Guardian, he'll, he'll, he'll be missing one arm. So... Oh, okay. So that. yours isn't there yet. Yeah, yeah. I, I just didn't know if yours was max. No. Mine is close. I'm kind of waiting for my blueprints to pile up before I do my final upgrades, but I'm getting there. I'm close. Right. Yeah. Uh, there's a I mean, amount of people on here who think um, that it's uh, or Panther. Oh, no, maybe I'm, I'm reading it wrong. There's a couple that said Panther, but um... <laughs> Bag of Soup said the best is Paragon with double auto cannons. It melts on day one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and rogue one gave me a super chat too thanks buddy he said paragon with railgun hey i 
I someday I may try that. If I have a point where I max out my Paragon, I may try it with dual railgun. Hey, why not? Sounds like fun. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. My my Paragon's getting there too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do another uh, room code for full hanger. This is full hanger again. Then maybe we'll ch maybe we'll do. I don't know. Maybe since we're talking, I won't worry about doing like challenge stuff tonight. We'll just play some more uh, full hanger stuff and just have some fun. All right. So here's gonna be our room code on this one. Full hanger. This is A D Y W R I. A D Y W R I. So, uh, Scape, uh, I, I saw your recent video. Uh, I think it's pretty amazing how you uh, uh, about the mechs. Uh, what do you What do you think about the two new mechs coming? What, what were their names? Like Stalker or something? Yeah, how we got know? Stalker, and then we got Hidezo, or I think it's Hidezo. I think that's how you say it. Okay. Yep. I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Some of these names I've seen in the last match, so I'm gonna have to have you guys skip out on this one. Sorry, just trying to get some other people <laughs> in here. Um, yeah, they they look really cool. Uh, I like the idea of um, Stalker. I don't know how it's going to play out. I, I fear he's going to be a little too easy to take down. But I think if you're smart with it, um, or if you do something like a Thanos build or like long arms or something like that, where you can be pretty safe while doing you know your, your predator drive, that could work pretty well. Hidezo... Um, seems interesting i just worry with light mechs you know sometimes i think it's not gonna have enough punch to be good enough end game but it might i mean it's ability sounds really cool and with 16 energy you can do some decent stuff now so i don't know what did you think Absolutely. well you know I, I i always keep coming down back to the the uh ai bots uh again because I, I can't, I, you know, so these, both of these uh, mechs are, you know, okay, at least Hidezo is the one with where uh, where you, it leeches life, is that one? Is that no, one? that one actually, he's the one that jumps, and he he does almost okay, like okay. A, a, a pounce, I would say. I'd call it more like a pounce, right? Because he's going to hit, right. and then it's going to deal damage um, from the hit, so. Right, right. Uh, I think so it's now, an now interesting my, idea. This is my fear. Yeah. This is my fear. Okay. Now, you, you know, you know how? The AI bots are start, starting to put on all search and uh, uh, Zephyrus. Now I'm going to have them coming from the top. They're going to yeah. be jumping all over my head. And I fear yeah, that. That's possible. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm going back to the AI Skynet. But, yeah. you know, uh, now now they're just going to be uh, jumping all over. And and now uh, imagine the, the Zephyr, the fearful yeah. Zephyr that we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now it's going to be Hidezo. So he's going to be really healing his health with yeah. the long arm tense. Well, the, the Hedezo right won't here. be healing himself. That's going to be what the um, what the other stalker, guy stalker. could do. Yeah, Stalker could do. But stalker, um, it depends stalker, on, right. you know, like I said, it, if he gets himself in a bad position and can be killed quickly, then it's not going to be yeah. that good or that favorable. Um, so I don't Absolutely. know. It really depends on uh, how players use him. I think there's potential there. It's hard for me to say yet, though, obviously without seeing any kind of thing in action. I did see an image floating mm. around. I don't know, Honor, if you were a guy that knows or has played War Robots. Yeah. A lot of people have talked about that game, but um, there was uh, <clears throat> an image floating around where they showed another mech mm. or a bot, I guess. They yeah. call them bots there. Um, that looked really similar to Hedezo and did like the same kind of thing, um, where it just mm. seems like they almost lifted what uh, War Robots did to even design it, which I thought was crazy. Um, I don't know yeah. if you've seen that image. I don't have it with me. Otherwise, I'd, you know, put it up on screen after the match. Um, but it was floating around. I think on Facebook, right, Miss Treble? I think you saw it first. Yeah. Um, yeah. it's a uh, mobile gamer forever 2.0. Um, Metal Greymon. Yes. Um, oh, and on, yes. I love on his Facebook, channel. By the way, <laughs> it's Alexandre JMW. Okay. And he he shared a side by side comparison. Gotcha. Yeah, he's a dude. I. Uh, I've always loved his channel. He does, he's very good at, I mean, he makes me laugh so much. <laughs> he does the good meme kind of stuff and he has amazing thumbnails, really good artist. Um, but anyway, yeah, he uh, he's the one who posted it. So I'm assuming he must be a War Robots guy. Uh, I haven't really talked to him to know like what his background is, but yeah, he must've been one who played that game to kind of pick up on that stuff. Very interesting though. Oh, I just killed one of your honor guys. He had the, he had the- It's good. HR, HRN. <laughs> Gotta kill him. Gotta kill him. That's that's how we train. <laughs> By dying. Yeah. And now now I just face the boss. Oh, man. Just, well, do your live stream and do custom matches. Then you'll at least fight them, right? <laughs> <laughs> they're, 
this is just gonna be a little bit cynical today. Just you know, just. I just know. Funny, I but... understand, dude. I get it. Yeah. That's it's bad. It's tough. Okay, so you guys were talking about Hidezo jumping, right? Yes. So yes. Lancer, the AI Lancer doesn't jump, right? I've you they know what? That's good. Yeah, I don't think I've jumps. ever seen the AI Lancer jump. That's a good point. And if that's if the Sky case, it's like smart guys. They know <laughs> jumping is going to uh, going to be a bad idea. Them. So I yeah. just wonder, with that mech, like, would the AI use the ability or not? Just I'm pretty like sure Lancer. Gonna, yep. Well, I mean, uh, it, oh. that would be great though. Uh, if they don't use it as a bot, but um, uh, I think uh, the the I think the the uh, developers are probably going to fix up Lancer and everything at overall. Like you know, I think they're probably going to change up the uh, the Skynet, uh, put a extra chips you know in there to change <laughs> it up a bit. Maybe, but I'm pretty sure, yeah yeah. I I mean well, I hopefully they change something. it up a bit. I know I hope they sure, do too. Sure. Yeah, you know, hopefully... the problem is just like. Yeah, yeah, please, Mr. Oh, I was just gonna say, hopefully these are just the growing pains, you know, it's gotta get yeah, yeah. worse before hopefully. it gets better kind of a thing. Yeah, sure. I'd hope the same. It's definitely, yeah, trying to improve, but, um, you know, I, I just, uh, what, what can I say? You know, I, I play games, you know, I, I, you know, like, same escape, right? I work. So I work like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, 12 hours or something like that. And then I come over uh, to Mech Arena and I start playing the game. Now, you know, you know, Scape, you would know, because when you do custom matches, you know how, uh, you, you know, it's kind of tiring, right? After you do the custom match. Yeah. Um, yeah. So once, once I finish work and I come play, now I have, you know, upgraded custom matches every round. So it's, it's kind of stressful because I want to relax a bit. You know, I'm, I'm lying down and I'm trying to play the game, <laughs> but the bots are just so powerful that I'm mm -hmm. so focused again. Yeah. Yeah. That's the... That's why I feel like they should kind of reduce the uh, the difficulty, the yeah of the AIs. You know, sometimes we want to relax a bit. Yeah, because then That's you're kind of... under more stress than you were at work. Sure, sure, sure. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All That's right, exactly so you've got a super chat here, Saksham Metal. I'm using Guardian with double railgun, mm -hmm. or shall I try mm -hmm. maxing my Panther? Uh, I think that's the same Shuck there. Yeah. yeah, it's the yep. same guy as yep. before, um, but he was just making another comment. Yeah, I actually responded to him just saying that, you know, it sounds like a, a good thing to do. No rush. Uh, obviously, like you said, it will take time. Both, I think, are good max to max. And I honestly, at least for right now, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> with uh, the way things are, at least, I, I don't know, it's hard to say before Disc Launcher 16 comes, having like two 32 energy bots or two mechs that you plan to max in your hangar is probably a good idea. I would say that you don't necessarily need more than that. There's probably not a whole lot of instances where you need, at least based on the current weapons we have, more than two 32 energy bots. But um, those are the two that I would, you know, realistically pick for how much they're useful, how much I use them. Those are the two ones to go for. So I think it's a good choice. Yeah. Um, I did see some other people saying Bag of Soup said that the, the mech we were talking about from War Robots is Mercury. So if anyone wants to look him up, you, I'm sure you can see images and see how he looks similar. He also has like horns and he's like gray and red too. So it's even similar color schemes, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, he looks really similar to Hadezo in, in some design aspects as well as like their abilities are the same, which I thought was really interesting. Yeah. Um, Meatballs uh, was on here. He also said he thinks uh, Shadow needs a buff, which is interesting. You know, um, we've seen like obviously the, the Ares buff and the Cheetah like mega buff, right? Uh, it makes mm -hmm. me wonder what should be the next one. Who do you think is next for like from your experience so far, Honor? Who do you who would you like to see buff next? Um, my skills. <laughs> <laughs> not the bots all right i meant for like yeah. you for <laughs> yeah 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 i know i know yeah um, <laughs> just my concept today um no i get yeah it. i i think i think shadow uh you know shadow does uh, i think shadow might it would be great if shadow has a small small uh buff because because i i still think shadow with the stealth ability is great uh but but i think that uh oh here here comes one small shadow here 
Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Here, oh, are you playing here, a match I'm... right now? <laughs> no, no. Oh, real okay. life, real life. Oh, hey, you're a little daughter. shadow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, awesome. but uh, I, I really think that, um, yeah, shadow is a good bot for a small, small upgrade. Yeah. Yep. Small buff would be nice. Yep. That would be cool. Um, I I feel like shadow is on the edge, right? I, I see him as useful. I've seen yep. some people play shadow really well. Um, I see less of like, uh, I would say out of the light bots, the least I'm seeing now is uh, Lancer. So I see MD still sometimes on the field, definitely seeing a lot more cheetahs. Um, I still sometimes see Shadow. It could use a small buff though. Lancer, I feel like out of the light mechs is the one who, who needs the most work. Oh, there's your little yeah, Shadow. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Saying hello. Yep, that's the same stuff. <laughs> awesome. No, shadow. But yeah, uh, you, MD, uh, Steve, what's your status of your MD? Uh, mine is six star, so I'm not I, I'm not okay. I'm not I'm not maxed yet though. So I still have a little bit more to max mine, a few levels to do. How, how is MD? I'm actually really curious because I'm very interested in MD. But like, uh, what happens when you max out MD? Like, I mean, you, what's the uh, energy? Is it 16 or 24? Yeah, it's 16. At max? It's, 16 at max. It's right? 16 at max. Yeah, it's a light max, so it is. Uh, it maxes at the 16 energy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> I, I, I heard I've seen some some players like long ago. I've seen a player use uh, full maxed out MD and like it was like a zombie. You couldn't kill it because he would he would hit you, run away, and then start healing himself. Is it like that? Uh, it kind of is. Yeah, in the sense that um, okay. he uh, he can you know take good damage and then survive. However, the <laughs> the downfall for MD is that if you keep firing at him, his ability doesn't work. So if you keep pressure oh, on really? him, oh. yeah, yeah. So as long as you're not letting him get away and he's not super fast. Oh, okay, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can uh, you can control him for sure. Um, it's not easy to do though. I mean, if if the player is good and they hide behind other players and they work as a team, it's not necessarily easy to just track a, a good player down. I've played with some decent MD players for sure, and uh, it can it can be very good for a match. It's one of those things too, where it's like, you. Uh, I don't want. I don't know how to say it. It's like a. Um, it's one of those things where you, you you don't see the mech much, but then when you have a good MD player, you're just like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing! Like, I'm hardly ever yeah, dying. Yeah, that's, that's you know. Me. Yeah. That's me. That's me. That's how I feel. <laughs> yeah. So bag of soup says MD needs a buff so that it can heal while it's being hit, okay. and. He says that his MD is six star, um, six star level one. It does well in solo CPC, but it's not meant for tourney. It's not good for the reward there. Yeah, that's true. It is not. It's not going to be a killer bot, right? So it's not one that's going to get you a whole bunch of points. It's more of like when you're playing with a full team and you have a good strategy or good teammates, you can make good use of it. But um, it still is not the easiest one to use. There's some skill involved in using that bot for sure. I think that's true of a lot of the light yep. mechs. Um, but uh, he, he can be a really good one if you know how to do it. Crazy good survivability. Um, I've done like solo challenges with certain mechs. I don't think I've ever done one with MD, but I, I've played with MD at the level that I've had it to the point where I'm like, wow, this is way easier to try and survive for the whole match. And you can be a little bit more like aggressive knowing that you can you know, kind of strike hard and then pull back and heal and that kind of stuff. So it can be pretty effective, but it's it's definitely very different. All right. right do you want to do one. any oh, um, challenges tonight? Uh, you know, I wasn't going to. I don't know. What, what do you guys want to do? I guess I should ask chat, like, if people want just regular matches or if they want... Uh, they want um, some uh, challenges. We had talked about a few before, Miss Treble, right? There was like a rack no Yeah, only. we have a couple ideas. Yeah. Um, only sustain weapons. So auto cannons and pulse cannons. You said um, just to state oh. those two. Uh, and arachnos only. These any any challenges Good you'd luck. like to see? Oh, you got to go? No, no, I'm just. No, I just when I hear the word autocannon, 
Oh. Yeah, when, when I hear auto cannon and whack those, just, just, I'm already scared for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Well, that's kind of what we do here. We do these yeah, ridiculous, yeah. Uh, really hard. Well, we do it like where everybody's doing it. It's not yeah. like I'm yes. the only one. You, yeah. If it was only me using right. auto cannons, it's like forget it. There, there was yeah, a yeah, couple yeah. times in a stream a while ago where I said, "Hey, just tell me what to put in my hanger." And I think people just wanted to mess with me, and they'd say that, be like, "Oh, brick house with auto cannons." I'm like. <laughs> Come on, guys, really? Like, that's what you want me to use? And it wasn't like I was telling anyone else to use it, because that was before custom matches. Um, so it was just me, like, running this terrible hangar. <laughs> yeah. It was rough. All right, I'm doing another one. This will be full hangar, but we can discuss, like, maybe some uh, some fun ones to do after that. But um, you guys can keep talking. I see. Maybe... Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Go I was ahead. just going to say, I see somebody says, Shadow only... Um, Lancer only. They seem like they want to do some challenges. Or, or some challenges. I think okay. Arachnos only with a spider turret attack only. Yeah, oh, okay. we've done that. That's a fun one. Oh, that yeah. is a fun one. That's oh, a fun I don't one. care. Mm -hmm. We would do it again. Oh, that was... Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, it's just 10. I don't see everybody in there. Oh, kill shot, man. I love having you here, but you got in one before. Uh, I didn't catch all the names last time, so I don't know if other people have gotten in here, but that's all right. We'll just go with it. This one this one will be uh, interesting. Um, yeah, so I like the idea of sustained weapons, but I feel like if we do that, we should say no carbines, because not a lot of right. people have carbines, and that would be, like, vastly different, right? Because if you only so have, like, auto cannons or pulse cannons... You'll, you'll be at a severe disadvantage. So it would just be like auto yeah. cannons and pulse cannons if we did that, right? All right, right? so th three max with auto cannons and pulse cannons only? Um, ooh, I, I guess? Two max? I'm wondering if we should say two max. Just thinking. I'm getting everybody shooting the uh, rocket mortars at me. Um, yeah, I, I like the idea of that we can go that route. Yeah, I'm two? getting everybody shooting at me. Uh, I think two should probably be the, the case we use here. Man, I did not bring rocket mortars, and I'm gonna get my butt handed to me from rocket mortars. Oh, All right, guys. Dave, I actually have a I have a quick question. Yeah, sure. Um, so you, you you're using a different crosshair, and I believe uh, the the mech arena provides like two or three different crosshair types, right? Yes, they do. Yeah, yeah, and 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 I realized that the the I don't know if it's the crosshair, but um, you can change the the aiming system. Could yes. you explain to the uh, viewers like uh, how each aiming system is different? Like, have you have you tried both out? Yeah, I have. So uh, what they usually start you on with is what they call the wide one. Uh, the wide yeah. one is good for just like general purpose where you're finding other targets, um, and uh, it works well. I would say. Uh, you know, if you're someone who uses weapons where you need to quickly find your target or you need to manually yep. lock on, wide is what you want to do. Um, I would say what I mostly would say, uh, the, the other one, which is vertical target, is best used when you're a sniping, like, build. Um, so if you're right. using, like, um, the, uh, uh, what do you want to call it there? You're using the um, long arms or the real guns. Those are the ones you want to go right. for with that. Yeah. Dang, I did not bring my Were rocket you... mortars on this map. I'm going to be in trouble here. <laughs> so do you ever switch over during the game, like when you switch over weapons? I have before. Or I actually you... haven't yeah. much lately, and I probably should at different times, but I don't always. So, yeah. All right, if, if all they're going to do, do, do is... Do you have a personal forward. recommendation? I, I one, think it's... Like, uh, it, should be practicing? Yeah, it's, it's a preference thing, but it definitely will uh, affect certain weapon sets. So if you're a person who does a lot of like long range or prefers to snipe, you'll probably want to use the vertical targeting, which is what I right. use. If you're someone who um, uses uh, the, uh, oh gosh, sorry, I'm just trying to deal with a guy who's creeping up in her backyard. He's <laughs> a good player. Oh, he would have hit me if he didn't hit that. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm sorry, I was just trying to deal with him before I do yeah. that. Oh my gosh, how did I hit that and not him? It's like, it looks like it's going right through him for me. Um, the uh, the 
vertical targeting is best for that kind of stuff. And then the um, wide targeting is for, I would say, most general purpose, but especially if you need to manually or um, I guess I would say manually or oh, I'm sorry, or specifically lock on a target. So I would say if you're using javelins where you want to like make sure you lock on the target you want so it doesn't keep switching um, different targets for you or you are using um, uh, disc launchers. Disc launchers really benefit from you using the manual lock function, but those the manual lock function only works when you're in wide targeting mode. I've tried to use it in vertical and I have not been able to get it to work, I, at least from my sure, perspective. Sure. Um, but that's where I would say the major differences between the two. Um, the other thing for crosshairs is totally preference. That has nothing to do with the way your, your game actually plays, where it's just like you do the circle or do you do the plus or whatever. That's just a preference right. thing. So, yeah. <coughs> crosshair design, right? That's right. <coughs> yeah, right, right. Just the crosshair design. Right. Sorry coughing on that one <coughs> all right stay alive scape stay alive yes. no i just get the tickle after talking <laughs> enough and you know that happens no, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I, I feel i feel i have it too but uh you know my right. my throat hasn't been uh, great lately as well mm. so for this next match do we want to do the arachnos oh yeah we can only... do we can do the arachnos oh, one first. The arachnos one. Yeah. Never seen All that. All right, let's do that first. Oh, yeah. There's gonna All be right, a so if you guys want to play with Scape, get your uh, hanger set to only an arachnos. Are we saying no weapons, with too? No weapons. Yeah. Turret only. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to do a... a uh... CPC. Well, I feel like I should do the opposite, right? Oh, or no <laughs> make it harder <laughs> well so then it's like it that's the only thing that wins is killing everybody with turrets <laughs> okay or will, that, or will that make it take too long i don't know what do you think honor do you what, think what, I should if, do... what if you i think you, we should all like uh, get in a circle get in a circle like you know maybe you know the boat map the the what's that the sky oh sky, the sky ship something sky ship yeah yeah in the sky ship you know in the center no one can leave the center so everyone drops their turret they're a spider turret, and you just got to pray that it doesn't lock onto you. Yeah. <laughs> I can do Skyship. We'll see how it goes for people. All right. This is Arachnos only no weapons. So all you got is your turret and your wits, people. All right. That's what we're going to go with. <coughs> all right. Uh, let me get this set up so yeah, I can show the match ID. Me. Here we go. This one oh is Arachnos God. only. A I L K M O. There's your room code. I need to get my next cough drop. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep coughing as I talk. All right. You know, it's uh, Scape. I just want to say you're you're so great at focusing on the talk and and the gameplay and the live stream <laughs> all at the same time. You know. <laughs> Thanks, man. You, I you try. You definitely got a better Skynet up there, yeah. Oh, man. I, I try my best to do it. Uh, I, I've also had a little bit of practice doing this for a little while. Um, I, right, I think right. it, it comes with practice a little bit, but it's definitely different. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And, of course, Naria is in this one, if, if I'm saying her name right. She's got a, uh, I think, a Max Arachnos. So what? Yeah. Yeah, so she's going to be the beefiest That's one. That's so amazing. So even though she has like 500 power, which looks higher than everybody else right now, I know she has just Arachnos and it's just um, that high. <laughs> the Messi123 <coughs> Jr. has played before. Who has played? Sorry? The Me Messi123 Jr. Oh, he has. Oh, also, This Is Me has played before too. I'm sorry, bud. Um... KQ, uh, Mr. Fistus is, is saying I should complain about Surge this stream. I will agree. Surge is one that I actually thought of should get a buff. I think he is one that is really hard to use um, and keep it long term. I don't know. What do you think there, uh, Honor? I know you use a Surge. Well, well as a Surge's attorney and uh, you know, a lawyer, I, I, I think it's perfectly fine right now. Yeah, you think it's fine? Honestly, okay. I, I am. I think it's I think it's pretty strong. Uh, the dash with the stun is just amazing if used right, you know. Um, so I, I think there are the reason why I say that is because I think there are mechs that are more urgent, urgently needing, like what Miss Treble said about the Lancer. 
Yeah. I mean, what it would, you know, just jumping around, that's just for the starter, right? So it definitely needs a little buff more than the surge, I think. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm trying to get, okay, we did get one more person in. Um, my side does feel stronger. I, I really want to have Naria on my team, but I don't think I'm going to, I feel like that's not fair if I do. Because <laughs> I know she's probably going to be the one who wins it for that team. We'll go with this team though, that's fine, I don't care. It's just fun. Maybe Naria upgraded the, the <laughs> Arachnos to Max after you did the first time the, the, this, this oh, challenge. No, no, I know and she really just... likes Arachnos. She does. <laughs> She's good with him. It's Kaz said, Scape, do another ASMR cough. It's satisfactory. <laughs> satisfactory for the stream or of wow. the stream. <laughs> I'm trying not to cough, buddy. That's what I'm trying not to do. I feel like it's just going to blow out the microphone. Oh, I like your skin on that one. Fuzz fuzzy? Fuzzy? I think that's fuzzy. And there's there's Naria. She's gonna be trouble. They're all like putting theirs right in the center, which is smart. But I'm 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 dropping mine right over. Well, that's top what of Honor said to do. Yep. Oh, you're yep. right. You did tell well, everybody to do it. Oh no, somebody's using jabs. Oh no. We got somebody who's using weapons. Uh oh. No no no. Somebody kill him with all your turrets. <laughs> it's gonna take forever, but like you, you, maybe everyone should like group up into that that small circle within the middle PPC, the control point. Everyone just sits inside there and yeah, that's the turret and just. I already got taken out. Yeah, that one shot that that hit me with the jabs almost killed me. One shot because my arachnos is not that leveled, but uh, so now I'm just the spectator. Now I can be the announcer, right? Should I? I I'm actually not that good at doing that. You did very good at that honor. Um, when you played the, uh, the civilian role. Um, yeah. And I, I gotta say, I found it so oh, hilarious uh, when everybody was trying to shoot you and you were getting mad. <laughs> 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 I feel bad saying that, but oh, like, oh. that was the most entertaining part of that stream for me. <laughs> and we, we, you know, it's just, it's sad. It's the sad part, you know. Yeah. But I, I get easily frustrated and angry, so, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, I did. I see. You know, honestly, I couldn't tell if you were really frustrated or you were just like playing that you were upset, like just to make it fun. I thought you were playing to make yeah, it fun, yeah, so I feel sure. bad if you were really upset. I do, but no, I didn't no, know. no, 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 <laughs> no. What upsets? Right. What upsets me more is the buff. Yeah, I know, I know, man. I I totally understand it. I do. Um, yeah. So you want to do? What was that? I'm just hoping Plarium listens in so I can just give, give that little salty little <laughs> messages here and there. I know. You know what? You got one up on me. Plarium has not dropped into my stream before. You had them in your stream. Uh, you know, they were they had some issues with their servers that day, of course, but you actually had them yeah. in your stream. And I'm just like, they've never done that to me. So props to you. You must be doing something good. Well, I, I'm a little <laughs> salty. You know, that's 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 what they want to check up. You know, it's, they're just checking if I'm saying the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe all right um so miss trouble we had said about the idea of um uh what do you want to call them two the, max um, yeah two with, max um auto cannons or pulse cannons only yes auto cannons or pulse cannons only correct all right i gotta pick my two best mechs i guess right <coughs> <clears throat> So that's it. Your auto cannons, your pulse cannons. I'm gonna <clears throat> use my auto cannon fours on my kill shot. This is gonna be interesting. I mean, at least I'll have my um, dash to help me cover some ground. But these auto cannons—they're gonna do the brunt. <laughs> Miss Trouble, I have I have a good challenge for escape. This is a okay. personal challenge for him. Yeah. Oh, so okay. while he's doing the custom match and playing the game, we just toss random questions to him, and he has to answer them. Oh, okay. okay. Mental <laughs> as long as as long yeah. as the questions are uh, <coughs> things I can actually answer. This doesn't turn into a truth or dare where I tell you about like you know, uh, have you ever wet the bed? You know, like they start getting personal. I mean, of course I've wet the bed. I mean, who hasn't wet the bed? But anyway. Uh... <laughs> oh, not me. No. Okay. You know, well, props to you, man. I've, you I've know, hey, it's, it's okay. It's okay, stay. 
Hey, Skate, you, you know, COVID, you're recovering. You know, yep, it's, yep. You know, it was last night. I just, it was last night when it happened. Yeah. I was. <laughs> <laughs> No, we'll, we'll, Miss Trouble and I will just start tossing Mech Arena questions to you so that you can't focus on the game. That's fine. But you, I love yeah, it. That would be the challenge for you. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd do it. Yeah. <clears throat> awesome. All right. So, uh, new custom here, just so you guys know rules again two mechs only, and you can only use auto cannons and pulse cannons. All right. So, here's going to be our room code for that if you want to try this challenge with us A A F X A B. A A F X A B. Yeah, Macarena based questions are totally fine. Yep. Oh, actually, uh, mm -hmm. INF Destroyer did just ask a good question while people are filtering in. He said, Bro, I didn't get Arachnos. How should I get it? I want to collect the complete set of mechs. I totally feel for you, buddy. I don't exactly know why they have not put Arachnos in the progress path. Um, I have been told that they will periodically, if you have not gotten Arachnos, add the Arachnos event back in. So it may come up for you again, but I have no idea how they figure that out. I know some people who have said that they missed it before and it came back. So I think it's possible, but I have not ever seen it personally. So I don't know. No, I think they, I'm pretty sure they did that for our son's account. For whose account? Our son. Oh, where they brought it back? I yeah. thought you said Sun, like S-U-N, like a, a a player named Sun. I was just like, who's no. that? Yeah, okay. Our middle child. Yes, no, I, I got you. Yeah. I got you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was like, oh my gosh, it came back. Like, they gave him another chance to get Arachnos. And I was excited because we did, for whatever reason, we, we didn't finish it with him or help him you know, make sure he got it. So he got another chance to get it. So hopefully soon you'll you'll see that come back again. I don't know how long in between it was, but hmm. all, right, all right. So let's see. I saw somebody say, "Do you think Arachnos needs a buff?" I do. That was one of the other ones that I thought of when we were talking about buffs. Um, Fastest answer today. Yeah. yeah, there you go. I there know, you go. Right? That's that. Yeah. I, could I just stop it there and just say that? Like, yes, it does. I was gonna Next say, question. If you're quiet for a minute. He'll keep talking. <laughs> it's true. He'll, it's he'll true. Further explain. I, I, I absolutely. I'm that kind of guy. I like to give the detail as to why I choose that. But yeah, I understand. I talk too much. I really do. That's a great, a great thing. Yeah. But it's yeah, great. a lot oh, of man. times I'm like, okay, good. Thank you. Next question. <laughs> I'll have to remember that my wife said it's good that I talk too much. No, when you give <laughs> quick answers. Oh, when I give but, quick answers, that's good. Oh, well, no, it, it's good both ways, I suppose, <laughs> and different for different reasons. Gotcha. For sure, for sure. Well, that was cool. Okay, you know, every every wife, you know, uh, you know, would say the same. Yeah. All right. Do you have a question? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, yeah. So, good. so okay. okay. Yes. Okay, okay. So, so what's the skill name on uh, the exact skill name on the Panther? What's it called? Oh, he's asking hard one, harder ones. Uh, it is called <laughs> Stasis Barrier. I know I call it the fence okay. because you, I've been, uh, uh, not, uh, I'm sorry, I can't even talk, obviously. Um, often. What's the range on the auto how, cannon? The range on the auto cannon, I don't know. I'm using the auto cannon right now. I don't know that. You know, are you talking about optimal range or it's total range? Total range. Okay, uh, I think it's about 100 meters. About might be like 120. What, Just making a guess. I, what's I don't the know. Uh, how how much energy can uh, brick house have at five stars? <laughs> uh, 18 energy. 18 energy. Okay. How about uh, <laughs> Zephyr at three stars? There is no Zephyr at three stars. He very starts nice. at four stars. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's he's, he's how, how about me. Lancer at four stars? Lancer at four stars energy? is That's... ten energy, which is kind of an ten odd energy, energy wow. set to work with. But actually, yeah. you can do a javelin four and six pretty effectively. I've done that before. It's not bad. How much does MD heal when he's at five stars per second? Ooh, I don't know this one. Oh, I don't know that one. You got me. You got me on that one for sure. I do not know that at all. Um, uh, 
253 health per second. <laughs> total <laughs> total random guess. I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> when are they launching the Dezo? Oh, I don't know. It sounds like it's going to be a little while. People keep asking How about when Stalker? Yeah, people when do you keep think asking Stalker me. will be released? I don't know. You know, people are asking me, obviously, when the new update is coming, when Stalker is going to be released. It doesn't seem like Stalker is going to be in this new update coming up, sadly. I do remember, because um, Miss Treble found it on Facebook, they had responded to someone's comment about, like, December being when they wanted to have a new mech coming out, right? Didn't you find something like that? Yeah. I remember did. there was a comment about that. Um, so my guess is this month is just going to be some of the other stuff they've already highlighted like the new maps and other things and then december i'm hoping is going to be when stalker hits so maybe for christmas we'll get a new mech that's so mm. disappointing though because they make you think that all of these things are going to be immediate well it's a yeah. devlog upon, upon the update no I well know. they say in the devlog this is like the the course of all the stuff they're working on um they always say that up front in the beginning of their devlog but i get it i mean it's happening right before an update's happening so it's kind of confusing right well we've had other updates where they tell you this is coming and it's there instantly you know that's true i mean yeah. they didn't tell us this update was happening and they did the devlog and then it's like hey we got an update coming so they did kind of put these on together right away so i don't know how do you think we're gonna get stalker um they did say these two mechs are rares so to me, that suggests it doesn't have to be like the event crate that they did. Maybe they'll do like an Arachnos event. That would be awesome. But I don't know. It depends on uh, on how they want to do this. So I don't I mean, know. You know, That's a good question. Honestly, you know, a lot of a lot of um, you know, I, I'm sure I, I feel a lot of players. You know, they you know they don't like it when everything comes out. Like for example, this launcher and all these things were all premium. But you know, I you know, on the standpoint of Plarium, just just you know, for the first time, I'm I'm gonna cover Plarium one time. But um, you know, you you guys have to understand that you know, of course, you know, they want to make a great game for you guys, but also you know, it, it's it's also a business, right? They have you know, they yeah. have salaries to pay. So yeah. yeah, I think you know, in the beginning, they'll probably launch one at a time and allow you to obtain it easily by premium purchase. But then also, you know, they'll give you the opportunity to get it because, like you said, like Scape said, it's a rare. Right, so yeah. obviously they'll give it'll be you know potential uh, possible to get it in a uh, yeah it, like every game right every game some new hero comes out you can you know purchase it uh, by paying so the pay to play first gets it but also you know hopefully if Plarium is smart they will allow the uh, other the whole entire base user base to be able to obtain it as well yeah yeah um, yeah and I've I've talked about this before in a video I believe where I said, you know, when these event crate rushes came out, not everybody loves it. I also have said I don't love gotcha, but you would have to think like of their entire player base, they covered all bases. They said, if you want to pay for everything, all of the crates and get all the value, you can do that. If you want to buy the yeah. weapon by itself for a little bit less, you can do that. If you want to um, just hopefully get lucky with spins and get it that way, you can do that or buy just a couple extra spins if you're a pocket change player. Or you can be a free-to-play player and wait a month and then get it, you know, through the progress path. I mean, I, I don't know how else you're supposed to effectively put out something that allows everybody to have fair access to it while you're still able to run a business, right? So I, I, to their right. credit, I think that's honestly a pretty fair model. We can't all have a Rachnos where it's just we earn it for free because when they're making new content, we're just getting it for free. They're not making money. And then the game will just close out, you know? So there has to be a balance there. Yeah. So I'm with you, man. I, they're, they're, they have to think of this as a business while still creating something that we love. So it's got to be a win-win for both sides. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, we didn't talk about what we were going to do next. So I just started grabbing Shadow because I thought <laughs> at one point, Miss Trouble, you and I had talked about Shadow with shotguns, but I don't know if that's what everybody wants. I don't know what else was said in chat. So you can tell me what you think. Uh, we should do here or what you got for ideas uh you can do whatever you want if you want to do shadow <laughs> only that's fine but um, i just had a song going in my head when you said that oh what you can do whatever you want <laughs> do whatever you 
<laughs> you can do whatever you like. Whatever you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Yeah, what you like or want, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so otherwise people said scouts only, only oh, okay. one weapon uh, per mech, um, caustic blast only, and assault <laughs> weapons only. I like the idea of scouts only, but that also means kill shot. So I feel like that's going to, well, I mean, we could do that. What if we did scouts only and you bring two scouts? <coughs> so that way it's not only weapons. kill shot. Lancer. Yeah. You can't bring kill shot, you have to bring your lancer. I have to bring my lancer? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can I bring surge though? Come on, you love surge. Uh, yeah, yeah, surge, but no weapons. Yep. What? No! I have to have <laughs> weapons. Come on. Yeah. If I'm not gonna use kill shot, alright. I will use I will use Surge though. Uh, I'm gonna use yep. Surge and uh, and Lancer. I like that idea. So that's what we'll do. We will say two scout mechs. And if you don't know what the scout mechs are, I had them up there, but just so you guys can see them again. So that is Any these weapons? four. Yeah, whatever weapons they want. I don't want to put any crazy stipulations on it. Well, well, um, let's let our boss choose the weapons. Miss Trouble, why don't you choose the weapons for Skate? Oh, okay. <laughs> what, yeah, yeah. Oh, what I use? Okay. Oh, no. But the rest <laughs> yeah. of you can use yeah, any yeah. weapons. The rest, rest can use anything. <laughs> you know, our, our, our big boss is going to decide. So. Okay. Yeah. All right, Miss Trouble, what am I using on my on my Surge and my uh, Lancer here? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could keep the shotguns. Oh, the shotguns. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the surge is gonna be tore up. There's like, there's no way. I'll try it. I'll try it. This is gonna be hilariously bad, but I don't care. All right. Uh, what what should we put on Lancer then? What what's its energy? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Yep. <laughs> um. Hmm. How about auto cannon force? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to be nice to me with one of them know, and say, like, you can use... No, 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 no. You don't even want to do that to be nice to me. I'm in the doghouse already. I, I don't even know what I did, but I'm in the doghouse. I dog should be no, nice to you. No, 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 no. I don't care. I don't care. That's totally <laughs> fine. That's hilarious, though. Okay. We'll do... Uh... All right. We'll do another CPC. All right. So, everybody, this is two scouts only. If you want to do this one, you can put whatever you want on your scouts. But apparently... I'm only using shotguns and auto cannons. All right, here we go. Honor, I like having you here. <laughs> I be here right now. Uh, I just, yeah. I like having you here too, buddy. I really do. I just think it's funny that you know. Of course, she says it then. It's not surprised. Well, my wife you know, I get somebody to help me. Pick on you. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm just, I'm just a staff here, you know. And she, you know, she gives the calls, and you know. Oh, uh, I don't know who else has been on here. I'm just gonna hide in the back, guys. You guys can all play. I'll just sit in the back. Well, I'm gonna scroll back up because a bunch of people started asking questions okay. when, uh, when Honor was bombarding you with trivia. Oh, he was doing trivia questions. They wanted real questions. I see. Yeah, Skyhawk, yeah, you can do that. keep the questions going, guys, everyone. I, I will ask, probably ask die us. soon, so go ahead and ask the questions, <laughs> and then it'll be easy for me to answer them. <laughs> well, it's uh, fine. You know, now now it's going to be the Miss Treble channel. That's that's okay. That's a good. That's good. I'll be I'll be I'll be I'll be there to uh, yeah. But we won't have anyone to pick on. So. Oh look, um, yeah. Jedrick is being nice. He's also using a lance with auto cannons. He's my he's my <laughs> friend now. Look at this guy. All right, all right. Go ahead. Okay. You guys can start with the first, questions. First question. Um, uh, I'm bored of my panther with dual <laughs> long arm eights. What should I put on him? Ah, uh, you could uh, get into brawling if you want to do that. Um, he is not bad for brawling. Uh, you could also do something. You know, I, I mean, really, depending on how you play with him. Uh, you could do a whole number of different kind of things. So you could you could brawl, you could get pulse cannons or carbines, um, or even like arcs on him. If you use that barrier right, you can get up in people's face. Uh, you could um, use rocket mortars. That's also kind of boring though. But you could also do that. Oh no, shadows um, on my face. Steve, I have a question. I have a question. 
Yeah. Uh, how sure. many bullets are shot from a shotgun? <laughs> um, not not magazine. I'm oh, okay. Like how many bullets? Um, there? I don't know. Let's find out. I, I'm breaking out my surge because I already died in my lancer. Big surprise. Yeah. Uh, let's see how many shots I get here. Oh, I went by that person. That's crazy. Let's see here. Oh, I'm gonna get tore up though. He had an arc cannon, so uh, I didn't get to oh, see. Oh, surge, surge. Yeah. Oh, he has a max surge. <laughs> Mine's, mine's still stock, so he totally destroyed me. Um, I We both hit each other at the same time, though, so we're just standing there looking at each other, and then he just toasted <laughs> me with arc torrents. Uh, I didn't even get to see how many bullets I have. I, I think it's, like, uh, based on, like, the way the front of it looks, I think there's, like, four little yep. spots, so I want to say, like, four pellets, but I don't know. So how many in you. each pellet is my question, do you know? Oh, that's what I'm saying. If there's four pellets, it's like four four things coming out. So it's like eight if you have two shotgun fours, I guess. I don't know. No, no. Uh, how many How many in, in each pellet? That's what, that's basically. Oh, like how my... much damage does each pellet do? Well, the, the, aren't the pellets supposed to uh, spray out? Oh, like spread out apart? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Scrap, scrap, is it scrap though? You're right. You're right. So it would be it would come out as a pellet and then spread out into pieces and hit. Yeah, right. you're right. I see right. what you're saying. Yeah, I I know how shotguns work. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, good job to Sentry on my team. He was like pulling the whole team apart or trying to win it for the whole team. I did like absolutely nothing. I wonder why. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I I really don't know. I don't know how that works with shotguns. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> doesn't really say and I have no way of knowing when I look at it it just shows your damage values that come out so I don't know how the shot actually hits but you're asking the hard questions that everyone wants to know honor it's probably considered like a radius versus how many yeah like, it, it just has a pellets wide... are in each each bullet at least how the game sees it i i think like visually though you can see when there's like some kind of shrapnel hitting stuff but i don't know how how much it comes out or whatever i don't know i wish i could tell oh, this all is right a good how, ma how many Destroyer, more how matches? Many years? i'm sorry how many more matches do we want to do um <laughs> we should probably do a couple more i was i was wondering if we should probably close it out soon um but let's do two more matches but i i don't know what we want to do so um yeah, what do you guys think we should do here? Do you have other other ones that we got, Miss Trouble, that we're I'm seeing ideas? attackers only. Attackers only. Oh, all right. Attack. All right, that would be, yeah, that would be um, all of the 32 energy guys. So that's Paragon, Panther, Guardian, Arachnos, and Redox. All right. Why don't we do three mechs this time? Ooh, three attackers. All right. So for my three attackers, am I using Paragon, Arachnos, and Redox? Right, guys? That's what you want? <laughs> I don't well, care. What do you What do you want, sure. Paul? I'm a, I'm a glutton can... for punishment right now. I yeah, guess. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'll I'll give it a shot. I don't care. Okay, guys. So if you want to join Scape, go ahead and get three attackers with whatever weapons you want. Yes, please do. All right. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, Honor, you were saying something. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was just saying uh, there was a great question. Uh, uh, Destroyer, INF Destroyer was saying, how, how many years have you played, Steve? Uh, oh, Macarena. that is a great question. Yeah. Um, it's it's probably been a little over two years. I have I haven't wow. had times where I took breaks. So... Um, probably been two and a half. Yeah, you think so? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I kind of lose about track, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Miss Trouble? Or did you start at the same time, or uh, no? I yeah. I started um, a a little over a year ago. Okay. But I play more occasionally. I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, she, she does. I try to do my dailies pretty much every day, but I don't always get in tournament every day. You know, I just try to get collect the dailies. Um, yeah. It, but it depends on the day with the kids, how much I play. Yeah. <laughs> they only let us play so much. Um, yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. Here's our room code. AIX. 
MMU. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry. Yeah, I should say again, this is three mechs only, attackers only. So that would be Paragon, Redox, Arachnos, Guardian, or Panther. Those five mechs. Of those five mechs, I mean. <laughs> JoJo said, uh, yeah, Redox is trash, bro. Yeah, uh, I I think Redox has had a bit of a, a niche or niche um, and certain maps where he can actually be really good. I've seen people do some really good stuff with him, like on, um, what is that one? Is it Acropolis? The indoor one where it's like there's a courtyard in the center. Can't remember the name of it. I think that's Acropolis. So there's that one, uh, High Bridge, he's not bad at. Usually the kind of close quarters map, so like Fortune Towers, um, those are ones that he can shine pretty well in. Uh, so I don't think he's trash, but I think he has limited application. At least from my experience. I don't know. You, Honor, you have a, a pretty beefy Redox. What do you think about Redox? Yeah, yeah, I, I agree 100%. It's it, it works on certain maps. In, in other maps, it's a little bit, you know, obviously not the best mech to use. But um, I, I still, you know, in the beginning, I thought it was very, very map sensitive. Now, I, I you know, obviously I got more used to it. Yeah. So uh, I think that Redox is more useful in a lot more maps if you use, uh, you know, you, you, there's a certain play style you have to play with it, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'd probably know better than me. I'm, uh, I'm not too good with him. Uh, I have not played with him a whole lot, so. But I'm gonna it's, try it's right good. Now. It's a real good mech. Caustic Blast is is definitely great. Yeah. It does a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, the um the video where you were showing him or showcasing him and using Caustic Blast, I think it was the first one that I saw you playing uh yep period and i was just like oh this guy has as you know some pretty good useful stuff good you know channel overall and that was the first time i saw you uh so i picked up your channel i guess yeah awesome awesome but yeah it's it's a good mech it's a good mech do i recommend him uh you know uh if if you're going to uh make a lot of purchases because it's so expensive to upgrade and um it, it's it's a yeah it's a it, it's a mech that needs a lot of care yeah. Oh, someone had a kill shot over here. That's not an attacker. He does kind of work like an attacker, though, <laughs> based on the way everybody uses him. Oh, man, I did decent with my Redox. He was my mortar bot, so I got some decent shots in. But All right, what do we want to do next for the last match? Um, I've got... Oh, how, only how about, like, one, just one mech, one, one mech, mech, and like a snipers. Only long arms. Oh, only long arms. Okay. I like that idea. I'll All right, what that. mech do you want to do? <laughs> long arm zephyrs. <laughs> long arms. Long <laughs> arms. Hey, my boss knows exactly what what I what I wanted to do. I, you oh know, my I'm gosh, that's perfect. Gotta do long arms zephyrs. <laughs> Got to close out the night with the long arms effort conversation again. <laughs> Perfect, I love it. Tribute, but 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 it has to be long arm ten. And <laughs> yes, long arm. Yeah. Ten. Well, for me it does. I mean, other people, I'll just say like whatever you can fit on your zephyr. Yeah. Because some yeah. of them have a sixteen energy. But uh, yeah, I like the idea. Man, I gotta say. That's perfect. I'm using this paragon with the Thanos build, and just having him, you know, with the flexibility of movement, hasn't been that bad. Been pretty yeah. pretty happy with it already. Between this and my Redox, right. I did pretty well that match, I feel like. Hey, I got a spot well, too. Well, Paragon would be great, but you know, the, the, you know, now, now, you know, the Skynet has upgraded, so the movement speed doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. There's no sidestepping. <laughs> guys, guys, this is just my concept, so. <laughs> What's your concept? Just a little selfie. Being salty today against Skynet, yeah. Oh, no, I mean, I, I get it. I get it. I've definitely had yeah. days where I'm just like, what is going on? I also think, and I've talked to other people about this who, who also seem to think this. I don't know if this is the case or not, but AI seems to tailor their movements based on how you're playing. So if you yeah. start with, like, kill shots super aggressively early in the match and start capturing points, the enemy AI matches your aggression and tries to capture more points. But if you start out with, like, you know, um, a panther or something that moves a little slower, then your teammates will try to, like, your AI teammates will try to pick up some of that slack and they'll all, you know, evenly play. So if you play, like that's what I'm saying, they, like, as soon as you play a certain way, they, they go based on you. 
So I've had matches where I've played against other players, like one-on-one, -on -one, and it's all other AI, where I saw them, well, I didn't notice until it was later on in the match, but they started with, like, a Panther, with Dual Railgun Panther, and I started with my kill shot, thinking I need to capture stuff as fast as possible, and the AI would just overrun me, you know? Uh, <laughs> even though the player didn't, like, do as well as me, but it was because, like, the AI just controlled the map, and I couldn't keep up, so... It's crazy. I, I mean, I'm not saying that is the case, but I've had experiences that make me think like that could be true. So it's really interesting. I don't know. I don't know what the AI does. Yeah, not but, anymore. But today, <laughs> today I'm going to be the, uh, the Zephyr bot. Yep. Everyone's going to hate me because I'm going to I'm going to have my super perfect accuracy with my long arm eight, my long arm ten. <laughs> All right, so everybody, this one is going to be Zephyr long arms only. Seen you can run dual eights, or if you have what I have at 18 energy, if you have five stars or more, you can run an eight and a 10, the dreaded uh, AI build. So that's what we're going to do for our last yep. match here for tonight. All right, so if you've not played and you want to join us for this one, it's Zephyr only, long arms only. All right, so let's get this going. I'm going to switch this one over. Since we only have one bot, we'll just do the 5v5. Alright. Hopefully we get a decent map for this. Here we go. Here's our match ID. AKB YBX. AKB oh, This YBX. is a good question. Yeah. Uh, from, I think from Geji. Uh, he's saying, uh, how do you know if you're fighting real players or, or AI? So what's your little tip? That is a great question. Uh, for a number of things, you start to recognize their names, first of all, so you'll be able to know after you've seen them enough times to know. But uh, beyond that, it's about their mannerisms, certain ways that they act that players wouldn't. They tend to run out of cover or get out of certain positions easier. Um, they may have, like with Zephyrs, insane accuracy that a player would never be able to do. Uh, so you'll be able to see with their patterns. Uh, you can tell usually after a match too if nobody comes up and you're recommended. So that means that you know after the match mm. you'll be able to tell. But um, most people want to know beforehand. So one thing I have told other people, and I think I have it in most of my descriptions, there is a War Robots forum where they have a sub forum uh, for Mech Arena, and in there they have a post that they've pinned that's like all the names, all the known names of all the AI bots in this game. So. Uh, there's quite this. a few ways. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a handy tool for sure for a lot of people. But uh, Scape, I also realized that you know, like I mentioned before, there's uh, new names for the bots. You know, they, uh, I think Clarion got a little bit more creative. Oh, uh, you see new ones. You know, it'd be like, yeah, yeah, many new ones. So like, oh, okay. uh, you know, the they before they used like two random words. A lot of the not all of them, but a lot of the bots used to have like two random words, like you know, like like a cheese cracker or something like that right like you know it was, it was like these uh, two two names like this now now they're using the three word combination with like uh to make it look more real uh that's what i realized they huh. might but just be new to yeah. you because there's like <coughs> what is it over 400 <coughs> names yeah. yeah on the list it's oh it's 400 it's a pretty extensive list yeah, yeah. they have a oh, they have a okay. lot of names on there Oh man. Well, I mean if they snipe me out, I just know, like you said, escape. If they if they got the Zephyr, then I know it's yep. a bot. Yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. But you do have to be careful because every now and then a, a player will uh use a bot name to kind of right, right. try to throw people <laughs> off. <laughs> so but you can know for sure when you go to your recommended friends and if they're if the name's not there and you you're not already friends with them, then yep. they're AI. Well, maybe we should, uh, you know, escape. Maybe we should both change our username to uh, Cat Lady. <laughs> oh yeah, you think that'll make it better if we all, we were all just AI? Well, it, well it's, a, it's a tribute. It's a tribute to the oh a tribute. Uh, okay, the infamous Cat Lady. All right, uh, to the infamous Cat Lady. Yeah. All right, we had some shuffling going on. Um, some people didn't have the right power setting to be only a Zephyr. So, but I I hope we have only Zephyrs with long arms in this one. So we're gonna see how this goes. Should be pretty quick though if we're only we only all have one mech the way it's supposed to be. See how it goes. All right, yep. I got a couple of questions. Nerea right. RS is asking, um, do you think Mechrina will make a pulse cannon ten or twelve? 
Ooh, and they're saying, I, I love those weapons. Yeah, it would be cool to see. I'd, I'd like to see those kind of weapons. I enjoy um, the pulse cannons for sure. But I don't know what they're planning to do um, realistically. Oh, uh, somebody got him. That was pretty quick, though, for long So time. hopefully, yes. Yeah, I, I will say, I'm sorry, I'm going to talk longer because you know how I am. That's not um, a long arm, though. What, what, what yeah. was it? Somebody's oh. not following the rules. Nope, nope. That's the hard thing about doing That's these customs. I can't... Uh, oh, yeah. we got somebody else who's got a guardian back here. We got him, though. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we got some some people who like to play the play the game differently. Maybe he didn't have a Zephyr. That's a possibility. And he just really so wanted to yeah. play. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mm -hmm. get that. I know some people really just want to be part of the match. Oh, Wolf! He got me. Smart. I actually thought I could shoot him far enough away. I didn't realize he was that close. But he's okay. Another now. question. Uh, Omkar Zupta is asking. Um, sorry. Uh, disc launcher eight or carbine eight? Um. Hmm. That's a good uh, question. In terms of are are they spending money? If they're well, actually, I would say if you're if you're just gonna buy it in game. I feel like the Disc Launcher 8 is more reasonable to save up for because uh, it's just credits and you can casually get it. Um, the Carbine 8s are pretty expensive, and unless you're going to spend real money, uh, I don't always recommend people get them just because I think that's a lot of 8 coins to invest in a weapon at 8 energy, just because 8 energy usually has a life cycle um, that won't stay around as long as some other stuff. So that's what I usually say, but uh, I don't know if that's always the case for everybody. Um, and, and for me, it boils down to if you're going to spend money or not, usually. So, oh, I just saved my buddy yeah. there. If I can get a shot in on him. There we go. So I got him. Yeah, we're having a, a mix in this battle of people that are not all using the, uh, <laughs> yeah. not all using the Zephyrs. Probably because they don't have the ability to, but yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah, other One last question. There. Yeah, sure. Micah Dorkson is asking, when do you think the Missile Rack 12 is coming out? Ooh, great question. You know me, I want to talk long about this kind of stuff. Uh. Um, so <laughs> if this month is this update, and then, uh, well, I don't know when we're getting the next disc launcher. I would think it's also coming in this month too. So we have this update and disc launcher this month. Next month could potentially be Stalker, right? Uh, it would it would have to be after that. So at the very earliest, you're looking at January for when like the next event crate rush could be for like, you know, Missile Rack 12s, Javelin 8s, um, or depending on when they want to put in um, Hedezo, I don't know. Uh, that would be, it's, it's most likely the new year earliest would be January, but I, I think it would be longer than that. Maybe February, March, something like that. It's my guess. Yeah, there's my answer. That's it. Was that right. is that not right. enough talking? Because you guys stopped for no, a second, like, wow. Was, okay. <laughs> it was just so amazing. The answer was just so so detailed. Yeah, I, just, I lost lost the words there. Honor, you cracked me up. You cracked me up, buddy. I think I was just a little depressed at your answer, but yeah. Oh yeah, I know. It's not the the happiest of answers, but you also have to think about they're trying to, um, you know, make good choices for their monthly revenue stream as well as constantly breathe in new life to this game, right? So if they have Disc Launcher coming out now and December, potentially that new mech, like they got to space out their other new stuff, right? So that's what I feel yeah. like. It's They got to space it out. Yeah. I know everybody, I mean, in terms of the most awaited weapon, in my opinion right now, Mr. Act 12 has been by far the one everyone asks about. And I wish I knew when it was going to happen. Um, but... Yeah, I, I would love to see that one too. That's that's going to be a biggie when it drops, for sure. Uh, Scape, I know you're real passionate about this one, uh, and I'm sure many viewers are curious. Is actually about the clan system. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what what did you, what was the question about it? Just like, you know, well, what are my thoughts on it? I, I Honestly, I think the clan system is more urgent than the uh, than any weapon or mech, to be honest with you, and I, I think you, you might agree, but what what do you think is the reason why there's a delay in the the, the clan system? I would 100% agree that it is the most urgent. 
Uh, I would think there's a possibility for numerous reasons why it's not out yet. Uh, mm -hmm. If you look at, I, I'm assuming when they bring it out, it's going to somehow incorporate into the current chat system we have with like a new tab for clans and that kind of stuff. Our current chat yeah. system, I don't know how much you use it. Mm -hmm. I like never mm -hmm. use it. I gotta be honest. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of a mess. It's kind of buggy for me. And I'll say this too, to everyone else listening. A lot of you will send me DMs in here. Um, and this is, this these do not work for me. And I'm sorry, I hate saying that because some people will message me in here and say like, you never respond to me, Scape. Uh, this is always a buggy mess for me. I've tried to use like my DMs before it it always like if i start scrolling down it'll go back up to the top all the time so right. i can't even look at right. some of those other ones down there um so i will just tell people look if you want to talk to me use facebook messenger or discord that's the way to reach me not in game messages so i worry that they're like you know I, I'm, I'm assuming i should say that they're trying to maybe perfect that um it may also be that quite honestly clans is not immediate revenue and they have to worry about their bottom line when they look at like new stuff that comes out, it's easy to see where that ROI is, return on investment, for those who don't know that can yeah. um, But uh, clans is something that is is kind of, kind of quality of life uh, for the game. But like I've tried to express to them a little bit, it is a revenue generator. Like people who want to get to end game and who will spend to like max out their hangar and do stuff, do so so that they can be competitive with other players not so they can beat the ai faster or better you know or just keep grinding tournament they want to be able to fight other players at high end and that's what clans is so this is like the most important aspect of end game in my mind um so it makes me worry that they're dragging their feet too long on this and people are just going to get bored mm. because they don't fight mm. other people enough especially late game so that's why i think it's a big deal uh, and why I think they should make it a higher priority, or at least I, I hope they do. But I don't yeah. know. I sometimes worry it's not a big part in their mind right now. So, yeah. That's my thought. I don't know I, if you I, had I, anything I, you want to say about it. No, no. I just wanted to hear, Escape, after you talk, there's nothing to say because you're, <laughs> what you say is just absolutely true. I mean, really. I, mean, yeah, I know this is your most passionate uh, topic, so I just had to uh, make sure the other uh, viewers, you know, probably have a good uh thought from you yeah i, I learned i learned about mech arena like literally from your channel you know I, I watch all your guides and you know it's super helpful and especially when you talk you know i i think a lot of viewers would agree but you know uh especially even my boss here miss treble uh you got you guys talk <laughs> like real straight right and and that's what we need you know not just always on plarium side not just on the developer side yeah but we we really need to talk about the problems uh, you know, you, you know what I'm going to talk about, but it, anyways, the, the point is, you know, escape, uh, I think a lot of viewers really, um, respect the fact that you're always, uh, you know, neutral. You're not, you're not against, you don't always talk bad. You, you really talk details and facts. Yeah. I just want to, yeah. That's important. And I, I don't want to, I don't want to just be overly positive or overly negative. I want to, and that's probably why I talk too much. I want to explain my reasoning as to why I think something is the way it is. Um, and yeah, sometimes you got to call a bad egg a bad egg. So when it is, it is. Just like the AI Zephyrs, yep. they're a bad egg. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yeah. The Zephyrs, for sure. Yeah. Well, hey, we got we to gotta wrap it up. But Honor, man, I got to say, I'm so glad that you were able to join us. Um, I know Mix Fan definitely is one that wanted to join us, and I really want to work that out with him so we can have him in another time. But so glad to have you, man. I love your channel, too. Um, and I love what you do. Your streams are so fun. Even if I'm not playing and just watching, super entertaining the way you do stuff. Um, as well as like you, you have good guides and information too. I mean, even when you do your other play videos, like I said, the first one I saw was Redox and you showed how to use him. Um, so you have some great content too, man. I, I love your stuff. Uh, so if you guys have not checked out Honor Gaming, absolutely do so. He's got an awesome channel. Um, and he's also a content partner that does giveaway. So definitely check him out for when he does giveaways so that you can be aware of even when those happen so i know we both love doing those um so yeah i speaking of that i have my next one uh that i'll be doing next week my next giveaway and i'll have a video out for that on monday so uh yeah honor man like i said great to have you i don't know if you have anything else you wanted to say 
but uh no 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 i yeah. mean once again you, you know <laughs> baby you say it so stuff. well i mean yeah. what can i say yeah you know I, I just want to say thank you so much for having me here uh you know anytime you also have another open mic session like this uh you know yes. uh, uh you know please invite me and i would love to be part of your stream and uh yeah that's pretty much it for me yeah all right man well yeah thank thanks. you so much for being here yeah thank, thank you, you for joining boss. us thank you for everyone else too who's joined us tonight i had a lot of fun tonight it was nice to have some other people uh speaking in with us i hope to do this more this was a lot of fun for me um and uh you know definitely having <laughs> honor with us so uh as i always say i hope you all have a good night a good day and we will see you out there on the battlefield.